you guys are the number one seed the last two years coming in here. It just is it fun? Nice to finally get <laughs> shrunk the number one seed. Um, jinx off your back. Well, it's nice to get out of the semifinals. I mean, no one. Ex I mean, when we got here, we expected a tough game against Quaker Valley or Shady Side. Never easy in the final, but yeah, it was it was nice to finally. Uh, represent our seed, right, and, and move through like we expected. But Double A's gotten very good, and you know there's no easy games. We told our boys before the playoffs started, the days of six, seven, nothing games in the playoffs, they're gone. You know the bar has been raised in Double A, and I think we saw that this postseason, and we're we're fortunate to win four games. Tactically, I mean, Quaker is obviously on the ball a lot. I'm sure you guys want to do that, but you also have. You can yeah. play different ways, uh, but yeah, what it was, was what was uh, going yeah, on? It here? was obvious early on yeah. we were going to have the better of the play, so yeah. we adjust. We talk to our team all the time about adjustments, and we have to play different ways. We have to play different formations. Um, we have to defend a little bit. We have to take away some of their passing lanes and find the opportunities to counter or find the opportunities for a set piece. It was it was clear within the first 15 minutes to everyone in the stadium, including us, we weren't going to have the ball like we typically do. And, and that's a credit to them. They're a fantastic team. They're quick. They're skilled. Uh, their, their shape is very good. We, we, we bent, but we never broke. How comfortable are you playing in that kind of almost a rope a dope kind of thing? So, you know, backing everybody in, playing like a 4 1 4 saying, okay, we're going to count off. We have to do it a few times this year. Not a lot, right? This is different for us. But, you know, in years past, we've played it. We try to play up in classification at times where we don't, you know, we don't have the ball the whole game. We do have to play a little bit. There's times this year, I mean, our section was good. I mean, I credit teams like Keystone Oaks, Elizabeth Forward. We had to sit in a few times, absorb some pressure, and, and get ready to counter. So, I credit our section. They prepared us well for this postseason. Which is good for you to finally win one after nine years. It's been a it's, long nine years. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, it's, it has been a while. It's good to be back. Um, like you like you said at the start, right? We've been the number one seed the last couple of years and fell short of expectations, so it was good to be back. I, amazingly, I've never been part of a Quaker Valley South Park final. I think there's yeah. only been one right. since 91. Yeah, I, I was I was playing at that time, not for South Park, <laughs> but I don't remember that. Uh, but yeah, two really storied franchises. Obviously, they have more championships. I'm not going to act like we're in the same class with them, but it's good to finally have a battle out here tonight. And listen, there's a really good chance we'll see each other in 10 days. But again, as I mentioned, the bar has raised. The bar's raised across the state, too. The teams from Erie are good. The teams from Central PA. There's no guarantee the two of us will see each other in the semifinals. But it would be great if we did. It would be a heck of a match. I, I want, did want to ask about the goal. Um, you know, set pieces. I'm sure you told your players, like, it. Get it any way you can, but just in terms of the goal, just what were yeah, your so thoughts on we that? Had a, I mean, un in an unusual way, we had the opportunity to see them a little bit prior to our game at Keystone Oaks the other right. night. So we played the 8 o'clock game and they played the 6 o'clock game. And while the conditions were wet, I thought they struggled a little bit with balls served in the box. Mm -hmm. Shady side took advantage of them a couple of times. Yeah. So we usually play short. Uh, we usually, you know, right. try to play a little bit more creative, but we decided tonight, let's, right. let's go direct. Let's find... You know, let's find those moments to knock in the box and put some pressure on them. Uh, we almost got two. I mean, we had one keeper dropped in the first half, and then we had another one where their two backs kind of collided on one of our players, and the ball popped out to uh, uh, Cam Loveland on our team in the first half. We almost got one there, too, yeah. just by a little creating a little bit of chaos in the box. And that's the playoffs. We told the boys, sometimes you don't win pretty. Right. Sometimes you win ugly. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, John. Thanks, Congratulations. Really, Good luck at really States. Really appreciate it. All right.